What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're crossing state lines, driving about eight hours west from Golden, Colorado. We're skiing Snowbird, Utah today. Like I said, we're skiing at Snowbird today. Drove the eight hours from Golden, Colorado this morning. Left about 2 a.m. to get here. And uh, it was a long drive, but it was well worth it. It's a bluebird day today. They got a bunch of snow the last couple days, so I'm really excited. Colorado is obviously my favorite state when it comes to skiing, but Utah is also some of the best world-renowned ski resorts around, so I just wanna come check them out this winter. Driving up here wasn't too bad at all the last 20 minutes or so. There was a little bit of traffic, when you get to the main parking lot, you just have to show your ParkWiz barcode app. You don't actually reserve through the Icon website itself, but you actually go on the Snowbird website to apply for a parking pass. From there, you just show your barcode when you get up to the main entrance and they let you right in. There was quite a bit of people here in the main lift line, so it took about 15 minutes to get up here. We're about ready to get after it and uh, have ourselves a day. I'm having such a blast up here right now. There's so much snow, like my legs are completely shredded right now. I've only gotten like seven runs in, so this is awesome. All the runs here so far, it's been super steep, a ton of snow, and just a wide variety of groomers and trees and just big open area to explore. I did a couple runs in the Mineral Basin a little bit ago, and from what I hear from a few locals is that throughout the day, it just gets busier and busier as it keeps going on. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is stay to the east and west of the actual basin and back bowl itself, but just keep exploring. This is an amazing place. And like I said, I'm having a freaking blast.
All right, guys, that was one of the most fun times I've had skiing a resort this year by far. I was so spoiled today. Now I know why this place is considered a world-renowned ski resort. My buddy told me before I came out here that it reminded him a lot of Snowmass in Aspen and the way that mountain runs. And to me, I don't know, it, it's like Snowmass is kind of like not so much in your face, like vertical right away. It's more like laid out and just like gradual ups the entire time with a lot of double blacks and a lot of off-piece skiing. But this was a little different. I mean, when you come up to the resort, everything's just kind of like right in your face. And when you get to the back of Mineral Basin, it's just one of the best skiable areas I've seen. And I do see why Mineral Basin is like the gem of this resort. When you take a couple lifts to the back bowl, you are able to ski Mineral Basin and it's a really good run. I mean, probably one of the best runs I've had all year. But once you get down to the back and, and go to the lift to come back up, it gets really packed really quickly. So I was talking to a couple locals, like I said earlier, and they said it's better to ski it in the morning and then throughout the day kind of come more west um, near like the pavilion lift, which that's where I pretty much stayed today. It was on the west side. I kept wanting to go more east and check out closer to the like Alta border, but I mean, I just didn't need to. There was just so much to ski today. Today was just the perfect day. I couldn't ask for a better day. Um, like I said, bluebird conditions, amazing to get up here. This was actually the first time I've skied outside of Colorado in about two years. And the last time I skied outside of Colorado, I was in Chamonix, France with my girlfriend. Now I'm actually going to be making my way down to Sandy, Utah, or like the southeast side of Salt Lake City. Checked into a hotel down there. It was only about 45 bucks for a night. And I mean, if you're willing to stay up by the resorts themselves, awesome, more power to you but they're gonna be closer to around $300 a night. But it was a good day all around. I could not be happier with how the day went. But tomorrow's another day. We're gonna be skiing at Deer Valley. So I hope you guys join me on that one as well. And I'm so excited to ski there. It's only about a 37 minute drive from my hotel to Deer Valley. But thank you again for watching this video on skiing Snowbird. I hope this helped you out if you're planning on coming up here. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It'll help me out a lot and it'll help me making more YouTube videos to come. But I just wanna thank you guys again so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.